Yeah, yeah. What did I do wrong? You have a better. You're you're offensive. <laughs> Police lives matter. You have the same <laughs> sticker. We're just trying to do school. What? You guys have the same sticker as the other. But this is our space. We've got a Police Lives Matter sticker and we're getting kicked out. Can't do school. Nobody's you, you just said we have to leave. No, I said... You're making this space you uncomfortable. You uncomfortable. But you're white. Do you understand what a multicultural space? It means you're not being centered. Is white's not a culture? No. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and uh, I want to talk about something that's actually been bugging me a lot lately. Actually, something's really, really been bugging me. So... We all know people on, you know, whatever side of the aisle that think they're brigading, virtue signaling, or, you know, straight up being a superhero. What I mean by that is trying to be offended for somebody else for your own sake to make yourself look a little bit better on the internet or around you and your friends. And what I mean by that is wokeism. Wokeism is actually a big, big thing. I mean, a lot of people like to be woke. I mean, on Twitter, the blue checkmark mob, mainly just woke virtue signaling bastards, pretty much. It's all it is. You're probably wondering, what is wokeness? You know what? A, you want to know what's funny? I don't even know. Like, I really, I mean, I got an idea. But I think it's fake. Like, I, I think it's fake outrage, basically, for internet clout. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I am. Maybe I'm just behind the times. But I never could understand wokeness uh, at a fundamental level. Now, I understand trying to stick up for somebody. You know, somebody's getting bullied. I understand that. That's, that's something else entirely. But when you build your whole personality on being woke... What does that really do for you? Most of the time, it makes you look really stupid. Most of the time. A good example is there's a new article out about these two women of color. And again, I'm a white male. So what I say about somebody, per, some person of color, I'm automatically racist because of the color of my skin. And since I'm a male, I'm either phobic, I'm racist, I'm a white supremacist, I'm a Nazi. And yeah, so I, I I guess I'll accept that if that's what you want. But I know what I am, and I know I'm not racist. I know I'm not phobic. I, I don't really give a damn. But anyways, something happened earlier this year. It was actually later in the year. I forgot what month it was, maybe October, November. Uh, these two men were approached at a multicultural room within a college, which I'm pretty sure that's state paid, like taxpayers are paying for that college to exist. And these kids are paying their money through their school loans for this shit to exist. But for some odd reason, there is a multicultural room that's apparently these two people felt they were self entitled to approach two white men one wearing a Bass Pro hat, a carrying a Chick Fil A bag. Uh, what else was there? Uh, P O P P L M, the Police Lives Matter sticker, and the other dude was wearing a Biden shirt that said, "I didn't vote for him." But for some odd reason, they decided to instead of you know be civil, they easily went up to him and attacked him verbally. By saying, you know, white is not a culture, which it is. Being white is being a part of the culture. Being black is being part of the culture. Being Asian, being Latino, being whatever is a part of a culture. Just because you're white does not mean you don't have culture. I don't know where that came from. And just because you're white doesn't automatically make you racist or phobic. I don't care what you say to me. I'm not going to see it that way. Because you saying, because of the color of my skin, racism, that I cannot have culture, or I don't belong somewhere, racism, is racism. Oh, shit. Is, is that hypocrisy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's hypocrisy. 
Wait, that can't be right. You're white, though. I'm white. So it can't be hypocrisy because white doesn't have a culture, and white people are the only people to be able to be racist. That's just a fact. Just a fact of life. Especially if you're straight, white, and male. Anyways, these people attack these kids verbally and try to kick them out of this multicultural room, which again shouldn't exist to begin with. Uh, how I see it, you know, rather you're white, person of color, you know, whatever your heritage is, whatever your culture is, whatever your gender is, whatever your religion is, you all belong together, right? That's that's how I see it. I don't see whenever we talk about people of color and people, you know, sexual preferences, religions, I don't see things that way. I see things as we're all human. Unless you think you're a fucking parakeet, we're all human. That's what I think. I don't think I'm better than you because I'm straight. And I don't think you should be, be think you're better than me because you're not straight. And that's kind of a weird thing. And we'll go into that later, but I keep on jumping off because I got ADHD or something. But these people, <laughs> actually, they they got in trouble for this. Um, they were actually, um, they actually got in trouble by the campus for doing this. And they are playing victim at this point. And uh, there's a video out on here. I'm not going to play it on here. I'm sure you guys seen it. Um, where they came out and said, you know, this was a racial attack on them from the school because they're assuming that everybody a part of this board is white. They said that they're playing victim. Here's the thing about being a victim. Not everybody's a fucking victim. How do I know that? Because I used to play a victim. And it took me a while to understand that. And you probably wonder why... Why, why would I consider myself a victim? As a lot of people know, I have mental health issues. For years, I made videos talking about these things. And, you know, I was looking for valid, validation. I can't talk. Sorry. That's, please recognize me. Let good things happen for me because I have this problem. I was being a victim. I played victim. I know what it is. It's almost manipulation. Now that I see how I was, and I still kind of am, whenever I talk about my mental health problems, I, you know, I kind of seek that gratification. But that's me playing victim. What helped me was getting help for that. For me to realize me playing victim is not helping anything. And these people are playing victim, and they're actually getting ratioed to death on Instagram and Twitter and I mean yeah they have their followers and they're gonna say yes yeah, so it was racist but fuck off please please fuck off please this this woke bullshit is just fucking bad and you probably think it's like man you can't even get a fucking sentence off without going you know stu stuttering or Jumping off topic, I know this. I know I'm fucking cringe. I absolutely know this. I can't help it. I can't help it, man. It's just the way I am. I, I know this. But I don't understand the whole woke brigade. These people that think just because their idea is, you know, <laughs> they think they're standing up for something when they're, like, again... Most of them are virtue signaling just for clout. That's all it is. That's a lot of the woke stuff, like the people being pissed off over uh, Dave Chappelle or Elon Musk or J.K. Rowling. I mean, it's it's stupid. Thing happened with John Madden just recently. A bunch of woke warriors decided to say, oh, John Madden was racist and is a doctor of some sort, Ph.D., I don't know what, but he's a PhD, said that John Madden and the Madden video game series was a digital plantation for people of color, mainly African Americans, which... Why do you have a fucking PhD? And why do you have a fucking Twitter? Why? 
people have stupid ideas. It's all it is. I don't think wokeism's like the right thing. I like things to be funny. I like making fun of people. I like when people make fun of me. Sometimes I take it hard. I take it to heart. And I know this. Uh, just recently, I just left a group that I was in because I said something about The Last of Us 2, and I got the laugh reactions. And I know when you talk about The Last of Us 2, what kind of reactions you're going to get, which is fucking ridiculous. And, you know, they said that, oh, it's because I said the game was a cash grab, which it was. It was a cash grab. The Last of Us, the first game, was amazing on its own. The second one did not need to exist. The second game was great. Had It was great. It's unnecessary, but it was good. I don't... I played through it. It was a slog to go through because it was just so fucking depressing. You know, it's like watching Schindler's List all over again. I can only watch that movie like once in a blue moon, like once every 10 years. I'm like, oh, uh, you know, I feel like being feeling really bad. So I'm going to watch either Passion to Christ or Schindler's List. Now, the last of us two didn't need to exist. But again, it's a lot of these woke warriors that's <laughs> thinking that their ideas are the only things that count. They're their personality is based upon wokeness, which wokeness is a flawed, you know, belief to begin with. Is it a is it a belief? What what can we consider wokeness? Is it a belief? I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, I know again, I'm not a hundred percent sure what completely encompasses wokeness outside of what you see online. Like People talk about whitewashing, uh, gender um, swapping characters or changing sexualities for, you know, virtue signaling. A lot of these companies do this, especially during Pride Month. You see a lot of these big major corporations posting their rainbow flags and saying, oh, yeah, we're for Pride. And, you know, you have a lot of people on that side that's... Like, oh, wow, they're great. They're, they're, they're prideful when these corporations are just doing this to get you to come in and buy their shit. They don't care what sexuality you are. They don't care. They can say they care, but they don't care. All they care is you coming in as buying shit. That's all they care about. That's why, like, Pride Month, I like the idea of it. I like the idea of Black History Month. Morgan Freeman said something a little while back, said, he was in an interview, and he said he didn't want Black History Month. And he asked the interviewer, which happened to be Jewish, if they wanted a Jewish History Month. And the guy, the Jew, Jewish guy, said no. And Morgan Freeman said, neither did I. How I see it is, yeah, there's bad shit that's happened to everyone. Why can't we just say human history, people's history? I don't see a black person as a different person, per se. I know your skin color is different, but to me, you're still human. You're a person. You have rights. You have feelings. Same if you're gay, gay if you're straight, if you're bisexual. You still have feelings. You're a person. Unless you're a rapist or a pedophile, then fuck off. Those people are like scum. I don't care what you say. Uh, go continue watching CNN. I mean, they have plenty of pedophiles on there if that's what you're into. But I'm just tired of all these people thinking just because they're woke that they are t on top of the food chain and, you know, think they're far superior than the people that are just normal ass people that don't give a damn. I mean, that's mostly all the people are. Most people just don't care. You know, they just carry on as, you know, their lives and they don't really care. Of course, you do have racist, homophobic people. And this is on both the left and the right side. Just because, you know, whenever you're on the left, and you're saying that because my skin is white, 
my ideas, my the things I have to say is not important. I still racism because it's based on skin color and that's what you're doing. It's hypocritical. But no, no. If you're if you're white, you 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 you, you done fucked up, son. You should have been white. Maybe I just kind of just don't care about this woke stuff. I, I don't. And I'm going to go ahead and just say it. Like, I really don't give a fuck about it. Like, I see it all the time. It doesn't do anything for anybody. And I barely talk about this stuff. I know in the last couple of videos I've touched on it. But I never really sat down and thought, you know, just tell you what I actually feel about it. Um... I don't like how companies are using wokeness as virtue signaling because they don't really care. They're just trying to get money, getting internet clout, getting the clicks. You know, that way they can, you know, there, there's these fake outrages that um, they, they last for a week and nobody cares anymore because this is how the internet works. Yeah. I mean, once JK Rowling and Elon Musk was a hero, and now they are vilified, basically. They're villains now because they don't fit the status quo. And the status quo on the internet is mostly predominantly woke. It's true. That's it's all it is. And I hate to say that. It's, it's fucking depressing, believe it or not. And I know you're, you're probably thinking, you're, you know, two seconds into this video... You've already clicked off of it. You're like, oh, another white fat neck beard, neck beard talking about wokeness. How original. I guess. I guess. You stay on your mountain. Stay on that pedestal. At the end of the day, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Mainly, the only people's want to care is your inner circle of weirdos and... You know, if they think they're going to get some, some kind of clout, that's how I see it, I guess. It's, it's, it's pretty fucking dumb. But anyways, a couple things. Don't ever talk about The Last of Us 2 on the internet. Don't ever do that. Don't ever, ever do that. Prepare, prepare to get laughed at by some stupid people. And I know why you laughed at it. I know I left that group. I, you know, I didn't think of anything about it until I, you know, I, I stated my case. I didn't say anything out of the blue. The only thing I said was, hey, The Last of Us 2 shouldn't have existed. And I'll stand by it. I'll play through it. Just don't make fun of that and don't make fun of woke people. Because if you make fun of the woke people, you're going to be a villain. And that's about it. That's what I have to say today. I'm sorry. Um... I have such a somber video at the start of the year. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free if you want to, hit that follow button. I'm not going to force a gun to your head and tell you to do that. It's totally up to you. I love you guys, and I hope to see you soon.